Hey, hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna be looking at how you can make your own do-it-yourself wheel base for your smoker. I recently bought a smoker and figured out the, uh, the cord that came with it really limited you to about four or five feet. So uh, this is what I wanted to be able to do, take my extension cord and plug it in outside. Um, by the way, if you're thinking about doing this, you have to buy the proper extension cord. I'll put a link in the description below. Make sure you get the right one. I made the mistake of buying one too small. Fortunately, I didn't plug it in um, and avoided a uh, fire or melting and whatnot. But um, this is what I was trying to do. I wanted to be able to um, smoke something outside. And so I wanted to be able to move it easily without having to actually lift it and carry it around with me. So I made this little base and you can see here it now easily is able to wheel in and out of its little home and the little notch that I made on my deck. Um, and we'll go ahead and take off the um, cover here and get a closer look at how I did this. It is pretty do-it-yourself, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie, but again it's one of those things that nobody really sees and as long as it I think looks kind of okay on the outside it's probably gonna be fine. So, um, so by the way this is my smoker. I love it and have used it several times and um, I will also put a link in the description below for this specific smoker but this is the base. I took a couple of two by fours and cut them to size and um, basically took some spray paint and spray painted it and then sealed it up with an exterior polyurethane and then I found some of those little furniture sticky things that you put on the bottom of like table legs and then some metal pieces of scrap metal that I found in my garage just to serve as kind of a wall and I put those on screwed them in and then got some um, outside wheels with um, locks on them so two of my four wheels are lockable uh, these are the back wheels the ones on the front are um, the, the wheels with the locks here's a look at the underside I have a black rail from left over from my deck but you could really use another piece of wood or really anything and I just had that secured as shown in the picture here and then I didn't even use all the screws because it's pretty sturdy just with uh, two screws in each wheel you don't need all four now to see this in action here is the base and you'll see what I mean um, if I do want to pick it up or take it off I don't have it actually secured to the base so it just kind of drops in there and the weight of the smoker um, will keep it um, keep it on there so it's not going to fall off you can see those metal uh, walls so to speak preventing it and of course I have those cushions so I'm not going to scratch the legs to my smoker um, fully lockable so if I want it to stay still I can uh, lock the two front legs and it's pretty sturdy um, so one thing I quickly discovered is smoking outside under the hot sun isn't necessarily ideal. I couldn't get my temperature um, to, to cool down to, to lower temperature. So I wheeled it in. I wanted to be able to wheel it in easily into my under, under my screened in porch um, if outside was too hot. So um, that is pretty much how it works. Uh, I'll put the cover back on here for you and then I'll show you how it can kind of wheel back. Now, um, uh, let me cinch this up first. I love this cover. It's completely waterproof. If you don't have one, definitely get it. Um, it'll keep all those electronic components um, nice and dry. And uh, again, I'll pop a link down there in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, but here it is. Now my deck is a little unstir, a little uh, not exactly flush. So I had a small little bump to get over. Uh, but you can see again the smoker is heavy enough so it's not going to tip over or come out or anything. So I'm going to lock those back up and that is my setup. Hope this video has been helpful for you. Thank you so much.